Hello, I'm Zardis, and today I'm going to give you a quick beginner's guide to Traffic Manager Presbyms Edition, TMPE, one of the most basic mobs and probably the one that most people turn on first. So once you've got it active and you're in game, there's a few different things you can do. Let's take a look at the options first. If you go down to options here, TMPE 11.7.2.0 stable is the one I'm running right now. But uh, this is what you see, is it brings up general. That general is really just general options. You can see different things. You can set your simulation accuracy. The higher that is, the higher the strain on your system will be. Uh, these are just interface items and then compatibility. It can check for stuff like that. Then gameplay. When you're in this area, you can change how many people ignore your traffic rules and you can change different things where uh, you could say that road condition, if you have snowfall, uh, the DLC snowfall, then that would have a bigger impact on your vehicle's speed. You can disable despawning, which uh, is something that is in vanilla to begin with. Without mobs, the vehicles will disappear if it takes a long time to get somewhere. Uh, then advanced vehicle AI. That allows the vehicles to change lanes after, like, the, they periodically change lanes to determine which one is going to be the faster way. Without the mod, the vehicle will choose its lane a long time earlier in its uh, driving setup. Then par parking AI, you can have it be more uh, realistic parking. That can lead to a lot of traffic as vehicles may be driving around your city looking for parking. You can see the impact of that in my St. Clair series where there wasn't enough parking on one side of the city and so there's a lot of circling around. Public transit, you can do a few different things there too. Policies, there's very many policies that you can set that can change how it works. You can take a look at all of these on your own. This is, again, a beginner's guide. Overlays, these are just things that can really show uh, different things, like if you put on junction restrictions, then it should be showing me the overlays there, but it, it, it isn't. So we're going to move on from that. But anyway, that those are things that happen there. And then maintenance, you can periodically come in to reset stuck sims and vehicles and that will just remove any sim or vehicle that was trying to find a, a, where it was going and it lost its path that might slow down your simulation. So that could be a, a good way to kind of make sure that things are running smoothly is to do that every once in a while. Then let's look at the different things you can do. So it comes with this icon here. It may start up in the corner here. That's where I think it begins and you can click and drag it to wherever you want but let's go ahead and open it up and move this is what happens when you turn on that you get these different options here one is to toggle a traffic light oh this has a timed light so we don't want to change that light there but let's go over here there shouldn't be a timed light here you can just toggle a light like that and if you're wondering what road i'm using that I should have a link to it in the description below. Uh, timed lights, we've, I'll show you how to do a timed light in a moment. And then manual traffic lights, you can uh, come in here and control the traffic on your own. This is a lane connector. So say you want to tell this lane to be a turn lane, you can do that. Now vehicles in here can only turn left. Or if you want them to go all the way over to the right, they will do that. So like here, watch there. Now that those vehicles are going over there because we've connected that lane. So you can control which lanes go where. This one is lane arrows. It can, if you do a control click, it will turn some lanes into turn lanes. It's kind of a fast way of doing a lane connector. Lane connector gives you a little bit more control and arrows, um, does it differently or like it, it it will set it for the segment and help figure things out here is to toggle the um, 
despawning. Right now, if we have it turned on like it is in vanilla, if we clicked that, now we have it disabled and it's like a traffic hard mode. It would make it so that the vehicles won't disappear. And I do play that way sometimes, just for the record, but uh, not, not in this save. Then you can come down here to priority signs. And if you have one, let's say, I want one that is just the regular road. Here, this will work. If we come in here and grab this, we can say yield. And this is priority. So vehicles coming through here will not stop, whereas vehicles coming this way will yield to them. Or you can do a stop sign. And in vanilla, you only get the stop sign. So we can turn that off now. This one is junction restrictions. So let's take a look at the options there. You click on this and a whole bunch of weird stuff comes up. We'll walk through each one of those. So the big, big blue button is a complementary, or it is a remove crosswalks. And you need a complementary mod that I think it's called TMPE no crosswalks or, or something like that, that will remove the lines from the road. But that will prevent people from crossing there. So like they just crossed, we're gonna turn this off and this person is not gonna know where to go. Look at that, they just stopped and they're like, oh, what, are, what, what, what do I do now? So now they're gonna come this way and they'll go all the way around. So then this one is no U-turns. So you can have it set that way and it will not allow anybody to make a U-turn at the intersection, or you can turn it on and allow U-turns. This one is a, I've uh, got to turn, turn this way. That is no right turns. So it would make it so that they cannot turn right, I believe. Although it, they do seem to, I mean, they, they can't. So I'm, okay, I'll admit. I'm not really sure what that one is for, but this one is a key one. This one here, not that one, this will allow people to enter your uh, junction without looking to make sure that the, the vehicle in front of them is gone. So where that comes in handy is actually somewhere like at the end of a highway, like down here. Without it, where did I put that icon? There we go. Without it, if you come in here, they might stop. Vehicles might come down here and uh, they might stop, especially if there's vehicles in front of them. It also comes in handy at roundabouts. Then you can also do this, which prevents them from changing lanes in the intersection. So those are the different options you have there. This one here is to change the speed limit. So you can click on a segment. You can change this for the segment. You can change it for uh, individual lanes. You can change it for default per road type, and you can switch here from kilometers to um, miles per hour. This is a American build, so we probably should be set to miles per hour, but then you can come in here and select the specific number that you want, and you could say like 90 miles per hour, so then they will go very fast through there, or you could do 5 miles per hour, and then they'll go very, very slow. You can do that for all kinds of stuff, and you have additional options here that you can take a look at on your own. Vehicle restrictions here can come in here and I'll show you one spot where I've done that. We're here at a toll booth. You can see different vehicle restrictions for the segment. So in here, we are not allowing uh, buses or trucks on the left side here. We're only allowing them to go on the right two lanes where we are not allowing cars to go on the right two lanes. And all the way on the right, we're not allowing trucks either. So trucks are supposed to be choosing this lane here. Of course, that's a garbage truck, so he can go there. But I also have it set to Old Town over here in the just regular uh, game. So we don't have any trucks going that way. But that is one thing you can do there. You can also turn off parking. So when you click on that one, you can see where parking is allowed. 
and you can come in and toggle that off so now there is no parking on that side of the road or you can have it turned on and then they will park there this button here clears traffic entirely so if you click that all the vehicles will disappear from your uh, from your build and then they'll start spawning again now let's talk about timed lights and let's set one up very quickly this will be a very basic timed light but we're going to click here and now we can come up to we've selected our node which you can have multiple nodes in a timed light you could come say over let's see where do i have traffic here you could do a time light here and here and have both of those working in conjunction with each other but what we're going to do is we'll come down here because we have traffic that is building up here and what i want then is we're going to set up a timed light we're going to add a step so now let's move this back out of the way actually coming in here you're adding a step we're going to pause for a moment so we can get more detail and you can change the mode here so that can add your turn lanes uh, this one has a turn lane too so we'll go ahead and just do this for all of them and the first thing we're going to do is change the minimum time that this step is going to be live for we'll go four seconds with a maximum of 10 and then i'm going to have it set that the light will keep going green if there's more waiting the driving and then we're going to tell it what our setup is going to be we're going to have uh, these uh, lanes going left these ones going left and then these ones can turn right so we'll go ahead and add that then we'll get another step where we'll have people allowed to go straight from that way Add another step. Now we're ready. Actually, those can be on that way. And we'll add one more step here, which will be straight for that way, actually. Yep, like that. And then we're going to do, okay, one more. I, I lied. We want to make sure that our pedestrians can cross. So we're going to have it like that and this will be a very short one one four add and then you just hit start and then you have a time light so now we can watch that go and so now they've got vehicles going straight these guys can turn and that may or may not depending on the way that you have things set up it could make your traffic worse but it also can make it better because it will add different options here and in fact I'm going to tweak this already I'm going to come up here to our left turns and we're going to make this 10 seconds long because we have a lot of vehicles wanting to turn left there so now they will have extra extra time to turn left but anyway that is the different things you can do with TMPE. This was a very basic tutorial. I recommend that you check out other tutorials that I have done if you are a beginner, including the, uh, well, actually on the screen now, I'm going to have a list of the top 10 mobs for beginners. So be sure to click that to view more great mobs that you might find useful. So thanks for watching and I will catch you next time. Take care.